key part of our curriculum uh, is, is resilience. We believe resilience or, or a lack of resilience is, is, is most young people's major barrier to learning and that's why we try and address it. But it's not just about academic resilience for us, it's about physical resilience, it's about emotional resilience, it's about social and cultural resilience. We want our young people to understand that they will only succeed in life at the top levels if they work really, really hard, if they have a positive mindset and if they show true resilience. Resilience is important because it sets goals and makes people think that they can do anything. It builds your confidence and it can help you with many things like such as your skills and your future careers. Resilience at Redillion is the way that we try to drive our students to becoming what better than what they originally are. Resilience is working on your confidence and um, your ego of like who you want to be. We looked at growth mindsets and fixed mindsets in Year 7 Resilience. We do chess, British Sign Language. We do the brain, dare to be you, which is like um, learning who you really are. Resilience is such a big thing here and I really think that the pupils are resilient. They give everything a go. Because it's taught as a subject, it really gives them that sort of edge that by the time they get to GCSE, they're happy and even though they're challenged, they, um, they can sort of really have a go at it. In year eight and nine, we move resilience on into something that, that we've badged uh, applied resilience. The point of applied resilience is, is to put resilience into, into practice. Having applied resilience as part of the curriculum at Redillion Multicademy Trust allows students to get out of their comfort zone and try new things. I've just done cross country and that's helped me to be more resilient. Applied resilience is learning new skills that will stay with you for the rest of your life. Applied resilience is where you go out of school or stay in school and do activities three periods at the end of Friday. This kind of life learning which shows us that if we do stick at something, if we do keep getting up, then we will succeed. Skiing, uh, golf or climbing. Uh, you could also do sports leaders, rugby academy or netball academy. In rugby academy we train on a Friday during school and we get to have fun. Uh, it's really good for my health. In the Netball Academy you can do attacking or defending and play games. It helps you um, truly know like what you want to do and what you want to be in the world. And there's a whole range of things that, that we offer for the young people so that they can try out their resilience and also gain some new skills. What we're trying to do is, is give the young people within our trust uh, all of the opportunities of private schools within uh, a comprehensive school setting. We feel that if we offer our students this, not only will it exemplify resilience, but it will massively build their self-confidence for, for when they're competing with, with students from more privileged backgrounds when they get to either 16 or 18.